Hey everyone, I'm here with Joe Belfiore and I get to ask him some very cool questions about the future of Windows, so let's get right into it. Awesome. I'm here kind of representing all the new developers that are out there trying to get into this field. Yep. What advice would you have for them in trying to get into Windows development? Actually, I think one of the great things about being a new developer, depending on whether you work at a company or not, is that maybe you have the lucky opportunity to start in on a whole new code base. Because mm -hmm. one of the things that's kind of interesting about Windows development is that there are so many companies and organizations that have been developing for so many years mm -hmm. that we have to figure out ways that they can take existing code and move it forward. So if you're actually totally new, then I would say jump in with Windows 10. And one of the things that we've tried to do is make sure that native Windows 10 apps, which we typically describe as UWPs, written in XAML, give you the widest range of things you can do. So you're unencumbered by having old code mm -hmm. if you're jumping into UWP. And you can try all the kinds of cool things that will let your app run great on a PC, but also deliver its value cross-device to phones, to HoloLens, to virtual reality headsets, mm -hmm. and really embrace the wide range of forward-looking technologies that we have for all those kinds of scenarios. You know, there are kind of all these other platforms out there. So what, what would you say makes Windows a special platform to develop for? I think the main thing about Windows is that uh, Windows PCs are the devices that people use to get meaningful work done. You know, they're different than phones, they're different than VR headsets, um, in that the, the two-handed keyboard and big screen and the precision of the mouse is really how most work of creation happens. It's how people write novels, it's how they design buildings, it's how they do artwork. And so um, I think the right way to come at this question is what is your app for right. and what scenario benefit do you intend to deliver? And to the extent that you care about making people more productive and effective at, at the act of creation, mm -hmm. then Windows is the, is the most powerful, high volume, meaningful platform that you can target. So, you know, something like Graph, how, how would you say that's kind of a good thing for student developers or new developers as well? Um, I think that if you're just starting in development today, mm -hmm. um, I think you're kind of lucky in the sense that the whole industry has spent a number of years where each of our device classes has evolved. At first, they evolved mm -hmm. separately. You know, we've got PCs that are standalone, and then an iOS ecosystem, and an Android ecosystem, and now VR. Mm -hmm. And I think we're at a point in history where all of us that build platforms are trying to rationalize those devices with each other. And so you ask about the graph. Mm -hmm. The graph got built so that business data and personal data could be stored in the cloud, but shared among different applications. Right. And so if you're writing a line of business app, you can store data in the graph and get data from the graph to integrate with people's calendars, mm -hmm. to do live communications. And the point is that the data is shared. Right. And at the same time, it's secure and it's the, the individual's privacy is protected. And so the nice thing for you as a new developer is if you get into graph programming now, you're doing cross-device scenarios mm -hmm from the beginning. Right. And that's an advantage because people who've had code bases that have been around for a long time, they have to adapt their code bases and that's quite right. different than what you would do. And I guess you also have the benefit of just having all this data produced by other applications. That's right. Being able to put that into your yeah, system. Yeah, exactly well. right. That's exactly okay. right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, it's yeah. good to be here.